Well, the first step to curing disease is always research. Yes, and thanks to the Wisconsin Women's Health Foundation, two women are better equipped to lead the way. I found out how today during a trip to Marquette University. Two assistant professors at Marquette University have a reason to smile. Both received important grants to fund their work. Dr. Lisa Petrella earned $20,000 for breast cancer research. There's these two things that, that we've discovered. Cancer cells react differently to temperature. So when you heat them up, they die more quickly. And they express these genes that are normally never expressed in these cells. And it turns out that my, in my worms that I study, the same thing happens. Dr. Abiola Keller is investigating the role exercise plays in depression, particularly among African-American women. She received a two-year $25,000 grant. With this award, what I'm going to be doing is using a national data set to look at how are healthcare providers doing in terms of talking to women with depression about physical activity and physical activity engagement. Former First Lady Sue Ann Thompson and her daughter Tommy presented the honors on behalf of the Wisconsin Women's Health Foundation. It's thrilling, actually. Uh, we uh, think it's extraordinarily important to uh, make sure that research is a part of what we're doing at the foundation. It's amazing that they're giving out research money specifically for women to help us gain um, prestige in the field. This is amazing. I'm truly humbled. I cannot say thank you enough for investing in my research, investing in me as a scholar and a future leader in women's health. And tonight at 10, you're going to hear more from former First Lady Sue Ann Thompson and her daughter Tommy. Both are breast cancer survivors, but now the former First Lady f and the family is dealing with another cancer scare. I'm going to tell you all about that and how they are coping. That's tonight on Live at 10.